Uh, I'm going to show you a, a um, what I think is the slickest way to skin a squirrel. This is just a variation of the old cut him under the tail and, uh, and step on his tail method. But I use a little what I call a squirrel tail vise, which is nothing but a piece of sheet metal with a slot cut in it. And um, the reason why I like this is because you're, you're pulling down on the squirrel. You're using the weight of your body to skin the squirrel. And uh, I built one of these about 15 years ago and put it on another building. And uh, I put it about shoulder height. And I liked it so much that I put this one up uh, overhead height here. So all you do is uh, you just cut him under the tail just like everybody else does. And you find your way through that tailbone. Once you get through the tailbone there, you come on down his leg a little bit like this. Get on down there. And the older and tougher the squirrel is, the farther you may want to come down that leg. From there, you just take the squirrel tail and put it in the slot. So you got him hanging there like that. He's suspended out in, in space. You don't get any debris, no hair on him or anything like that. So it makes it a whole lot cleaner job. And all you do is put the weight on it and you can feel it. Plus he's up here where you can see it. You can see it there and see if you're making a mistake or not, or if it's not tearing just right. So you just keep pulling, pull, pull, pull. Get him on down, pull his, pull his front legs out. Just like all the other, everybody else do. You grab that little piece right there. You pull it right there, like that. Now I like to use game shears for this part where you just snap his legs off. You pull him on down to his wrists, snap his legs off. And the game shear is nice and blunt right there. So you reach right through here, reach right through, and you pop his pelvis. Get the pelvis, and nice and blunt so you can get it right up there against the belly. And you come on up there to his rib cage. You cut him all the way to the throat. From here, you open up his rib cage, grab his esophagus, trachea, heart, lungs, and all that, pull it out. His diaphragm is right here. Two fingers. Pull. There it all is, right there. Take the game shears again. Cut his head off. From here, I'll take a meat cleaver, and I'll cut him here and here, and then split each piece. Put him in a little uh, uh, New Orleans uh, fish fry batter. Drop him in the frying pan. He's ready to go. All right, like I said in the last video, I uh, take the meat cleaver and cut the squirrel here and here and then split each piece. And uh, then I batter them in the New Orleans seasoned fish fry made by Zatarain's. And uh, it, uh, it usually does all you need as far as the salt and everything. It takes all the thinking out of it. So here we go. We cut him right here. 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 And get him right there. So each squirrel's got six pieces, and you batter him and drop him in the frying pan. Reach corn. All right, I put the uh, New Orleans seasoned fish fry on the squirrel. And there, don't they look good? Now the smaller pieces of course cook quicker, but what you do is you cook the leg, the back leg is the slowest to cook, and you cook the back leg until the knee pops out right there, and he's done.